The cries for relief from short-term rental rules in Kelowna are getting louder. While a number of factors are in play in a drop in visitor numbers so far this summer, fingers are being pointed at the restrictions that took effect right before the start of the summer tourist season. This year we've noticed a drastic downturn in traffic. Um, it's really impacted um, our sales. I've had to cut staff. A rally is being planned at Priest Creek Family Estate Winery along with a B.C. Conservative candidate to push for the government to reverse the decision. The Conservatives aren't the only ones taking the NDP to task for the short-term rental rules. We warned the NDP that this is exactly what would happen when they brought in their changes to the short-term rentals. We put forward four amendments that could have solved a lot of these problems by recognizing you have to have more flexibility, particularly in areas that rely on tourism. We warned them that hotel room rates would become completely unaffordable for those that are wanting to tour into a beautiful region like Kelowna uh, because of the lack of, of spaces available. They didn't listen and now we're seeing all those problems come to life. The number of short-term rentals in Kelowna has dropped dramatically, not only because the provincial rule says you can only operate one in your primary residence, but also because the city only grandfathered those units that had a license before the change took effect. I do know a few people that have licensed their Airbnbs and their bookings are also down and they're being questioned when people email them as to why they still have an Airbnb advertised because they're not understanding that whole licensing piece either. Um, so A, the numbers are down, but also people aren't looking to book Airbnb because they just think we're not supposed to have them. An interview Castanet had scheduled with Mayor Tom Dias to discuss the downturn in tourism was cancelled. The city said he would comment when he had more concrete visitor numbers from this summer. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.